change to Tennessee law will make bullying and cyberbullying a Class A misdemeanor, which could mean jail time as well as a big fine. Thank you for joining us for News 2 at 4. I'm Mark Kelly. That legislation, which Governor Bill Lee recently signed into law, makes bullying and cyberbullying subject to the same penalties as harassment. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains why one expert says the change could have unintended consequences. Whether it happens in person or behind a screen, the impact can be deadly. Roger Dinwiddie, CEO of Stars Nashville, sees what bullying does firsthand. For those kids who are mistreated, uh, generally one of the first places is with their own dignity and self-worth. 17 to 20 percent of young people are regularly involved with bullying, according to Dinwiddie, whether they're the bully, the victim or both. A new change to Tennessee law is aimed to help reduce those rates by making bullying and cyberbullying a class A misdemeanor like harassment. Our goal is to protect the kids and this is the only way I know how to do it. The amendment also requires law enforcement to notify the parents of the student being bullied if they were a minor. It passed this legislative session and got Governor Bill Lee's signature, despite some concerns from Democrats. If they were to out, if a child was billing, being bullied for being LGBTQ and this gets back to their parents, my concern are, are those situations where the, it had the parents having the knowledge could be very problematic for the child. Dinwiddie says schools are already required to notify parents about a bullying situation, so the law wouldn't change much there. But he has his own concerns about whether making bullying a class A misdemeanor will impede school officials from reporting it. Tennessee Code Annotated does require that administrators and or their designee report bullying when it happens. So I hope that doesn't deter because of the risk of a possible Class A and also because of a potential $2,500 fine. Even though the amendment doesn't include any additional educational elements on ways to prevent bullying, Dinwiddie does believe because of the harsh punishment, the change could discourage someone from bullying in the first place. Most schools have some sort of clear standard about what they're required to do. Uh, this definitely had something else to the mix. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Now keep in mind the change goes into effect July 1st. Dinwiddie also says students and school staff will need to be educated on that change in the meantime.